I want to get back out to Ryan because he's live now mm -hmm. with one of the main voices of the community, the editor of the Bennington Banner, the hometown newspaper. Hi, Ryan. That's right. Good morning. Susan Allen joins us now in your offices, the Bennington Manor, right next door here. Right next door. It was a real long commute right. for me this morning. <laughs> and I got to say, I brought you some bling from the paper. I know the Madison guys gave you some beer. You need a drinking glass. So here's a Bennington Banner. We appreciate beer. that. I, I got to say, it has been such a warm welcome here in downtown Bennington this morning. How long have you been with the paper? I've been with the paper for two years. Um, I've been in and out of Bennington now for 40 years. And I gotta tell you, I'm just really so proud that you guys are here. Over the course of 40 years, this town has gone from kind of sleepy with a lot of open storefronts to a really vibrant, popping downtown, as you know, because sure. you've talked to some of the businesses. Things are going great here. We have breweries, we have music events that are staged down here. Bennington's really happening and it's been a lot of fun to watch. Well, what's great, you know, I grew up in Pittsfield over in Berkshire County, so not far from here. And a lot of these smaller New England towns that had a long history of being mill towns or wood towns and kind of had to reinvent themselves, like you said, over the, the past few decades and to see them come to life like they have has been phenomenal. Well, what's kind of neat is Bennington was a mill town like these other towns, and a lot of the mills have closed. Um, you're getting a warm welcome this morning, I've noticed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but unlike some towns, we've kept our mills. They're beautiful, huge brick buildings. They've been redone. They're now modernized. They have restaurants and they have gymnasiums and they're just fun places to be. So I'm really proud of that, that we've held on to a lot of what's old that we love but we're also definitely moving in a much more modern, exciting direction. And what's it like to have neighbors like Mel and Mike here who have been established across the street since 96, but to open this brand new craft bar and kitchen restaurant here is just awesome. On summer nights, especially when we get off work and it's dark, this patio is filled with people and you know they're coming after work, they're coming for lunches. Uh, the Madisons have done a great job. They own the one across the street too, which is also, you have to get reservations if you want to eat in one of these places. So it's been very exciting. The Banner has also completely redone its newsroom. We were one door down, bought the building next door to 421, which was great for those of us who like a happy hour, and completely redid that building. And we're really proud that we're a local newspaper that stayed downtown right on Main Street to cover Main Street. And I got to put a plug in for the buildings that aren't right on Main Street. Bennington's huge yeah. and we have businesses and restaurants all throughout Bennington. So people need to really hunt around for the best place. Come and pay a visit. Susan, thank you so much thank for you. coming out and joining us. I know it was a far uh, commute for you, <laughs> so we appreciate that. Uh, Christina, <laughs> Stephanie, back to you guys in Albany. Uh, that local newspaper too is such a staple of oh, that absolutely. town.